this time we're going to look at your iliotibial band. So um, a really important one for runners, um, it causes an awful lot of knee tightness and there's reasons for that. Uh, the iliotibial band, I'm going to stand up so my head's going to disappear from view but you'll get a better view, idea of what's going on. Iliotibial band is a connective tissue band which stretches all the way up the side of your leg. Uh, there is a small muscle up at the top called your tensor fascia latae. Now this small muscle controls all of this band and the job of the band is to stabilise your knee, especially during movement. Um, what happens is that the ITB, iliotibial band, gets either kind of fascially mashed onto the quads at the front or to the hamstrings at the back. Um, when you are told by somebody that you have an iliotibial band issue and are given stretches or roller work to, to, to release the ITB, what you don't want to do is just put pressure directly onto the side of the leg. It's pointless. It's not going to release anything really. I'm going to show you how you can get into the release and I'm also going to kind of explain why you're having iliotibial bands and what else you need to do to strengthen that. So, the iliotibial band causes knee pain. Uh, you can usually feel it onto the inside of the knee, the medial meniscus there. When the band is tight, it pushes your kneecap to the outside edge of your leg. So it's pushing it this way. It's doing that because you are not strong in a wee little muscle here called your vastus medialis oblique. And the job of the vastus medialis oblique is to balance the knee. It works in conjunction with your gluteus medius, which is uh, the hip sta stabilizing um, part of the glutes, rather than the maximus, which is the big power muscle. So your glute med gets used on a daily basis for walking. Um, your glute max provides you with the power and thrust. And so it's glute max, not being able to talk to the VMO, uh, vastus medialis oblique, which then means that the iliotibial band has to overwork, pulling your kneecap that way and giving you knee pain. So instead of trying to roll it directly onto the iliotibial band, what we're going to do is we're going to work on freeing it up giving it more slide, more glide, more movement by working this line diagonally here so that it's softening and stretching away from the glutes. Most people find that the ITB sticks more to the glutes than it does to the hamstrings, but you'll also work with your hamstrings and hamstring release yourself and that's going to give you a softness in the back of your leg which will then allow this ITB to be more slidey and freer. Grab a roller. Whether you have a six inch roller or a four inch roller, which is the diameter of this away, it doesn't really matter. I would recommend not using one of the knobbly rollers, but if that's what you have and that's what you like, that's all good. Okay, so you need enough space to be able to lie long and you're gonna position the roller underneath your knee kind of area. Now, I try to use this leg to stabilize myself, which might make seeing things a little bit more tricky. So let's move this back. I bring my shoulder and elbow in line and instead of rolling here, which is just going to be painful, I roll forwards. So I'm working on the diagonal. I'm not all the way here, I'll show you this way, I'm not all the way onto the front which would be giving me a quad release and I'm not lying all the way flat, I'm lying on a diagonal. So, stabilising myself with my foot and my elbow stacked underneath my shoulder, I'm just going to find somewhere which feels a little bit tender, not too tender. If you think of a pain scale as one being not even in the room and ten being hitting the ceiling, we don't want to work anywhere higher than a seven. If you stick to somewhere which is a sort of a six or a seven in intensity, you're going to free up the area more effectively, more efficiently, and that's going to have a ripple effect up and down the fascial web and will release everything along with it. So it's as simple as that. You're going to stay here for five to ten minutes, gently releasing. Um, you don't really need to move around, but you might find on consecutive sessions that there feels like there's more going on in separate areas. 
So feel free then to work either higher or lower. Remember, you're working on a diagonal, not directly onto the uh, iliotibial band and not directly onto the quad. Do both legs and also you need to be doing a 90 degree lunge, which I will show you, and that is going to allow you to strengthen the VMO and the glute mean and their connection, which is going to take the pressure off your knee. Iliotibial band. <laughs>